And investigators are trying to piece together the circumstances behind the bizarre suicide of a business owner in Brooklyn. The owner of Dell's Maraschino Cherries, it's a business that's been there for a long, long yeah. time, 67 something years, I believe, shot himself moments after authorities uncovered evidence that his factory was a front for a drug operation. Fox 5's Robert Moses is in Red Hook with more on this strange story. Robert, good Very morning. Bizarre. Ben and Juliet, good morning to you. The driver of this tractor trailer just behind me was a few minutes ago knocking on the garage door here. He's trying to drop off some cherries and he was unaware this morning until I told him about what happened here yesterday. This factory is nestled among a very industrial area here on the waterfront in Brooklyn and this morning it is a company without its leader. Investigators from the Brooklyn DA's office, as well as other city and state agencies, arrived at Dell's Maraschino Cherries armed with a search warrant. They were looking into whether the company committed environmental crimes, which reportedly included illegal dumping in the waters near the 38,000 square foot factory. You can see the inside of the factory in this video from the Daily News. The owner, Arthur Mondella, cooperated with the search, according to the Brooklyn DA's office. But then investigators found something interesting. Shelves attached to the wall with magnets. Smelling marijuana, the investigators began asking questions. Mondella asked to use the bathroom. Once inside the bathroom, he shot himself. He later died at a hospital. The investigators reportedly found three bags of marijuana once they started poking around those magnetic shelves and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Below the plant, they reportedly also found expensive vehicles, including a Rolls Royce and Porsche. This is where you get to make it right. This story is eerily reminiscent of Breaking Bad, a series on AMC about a teacher who secretly maintains a meth lab. This company processes about 14 million pounds of cherries every year and supplies major chains, including Buffalo Wild Wings, as well as TGI Fridays. And reportedly, immediately before he shot and killed himself, Mandela, the owner of the company, told his sister, who was present here, to take care of his children. That is the latest. Live from Red Hook this morning, Ben and Juliet. Back to you. Wow. It's very sad. All right. Robert, thank you very thank much you. for that.